approved a new gene therapy which could help infants with spinal muscular atrophy have a longer and more mobile life expectancy. Six on Your Side's Jessica Taylor shares how SMA research is life-saving for one local teenager with the disorder. Spinal muscular atrophy affects motor neurons responsible for important muscle functions like breathing, swallowing, and walking. The newly approved FDA gene therapy will be a single treatment that stops it from progressing before the age of two. Skyers Ruplinger has interests you'd expect of any 15-year-old. Manage my own YouTube channel. But he navigates life a little differently. Spinal muscular atrophy, there's three types, so three is where it's degenerating. Uh, in a later age, type 2 is you never be able to walk really, and then type 1, it's where you're a baby and you have a very high chance of dying. Skyers was diagnosed with type 2 spinal muscular atrophy at age 3. He takes quarterly treatments to manage it and stop further nerve damage. A needle that has to be around 9 inches long, just like this and then they go from the side and inject it from the side because I have a um, spinal rod. The FDA recently approved of a new treatment for all types of spinal muscular atrophy before age two. The new gene therapy blocks the symptoms before they develop and basically fixes the gene problem before it begins. It's supposed to stop any more muscle death which is life-saving. I mean, this is huge. The disease brings its own set of hurdles physically, and it doesn't make other aspects of life for a teenager easier. I feel like they look at me as if I'm a monster or something roaming around the halls because they all like kind of uh, avoid me. Skyers has found his release from the disorder in an online world. He has over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube who don't see him for his disease, but for his gaming skill. I like creating it because, um, what is it, there's no diseases in that game. The new FDA approved IV treatment could help children with SMA have a more mobile lifestyle, but it comes with a steep price tag, nearly $2 million for the treatment. Lydette pays nearly $350,000 a year for her son's quarterly medication. More information is available on our website. Reporting live in studio, Jessica Taylor, 6 on your side.